Welcome back to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosy UK. Today I'm showing you the second part of our granny square cushion cover. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so that you never miss out on another one of my crochet tutorials again. So I've now completed my second panel. I've not yet wove my ends in, I will do that afterwards. Um, but we're going to join these two cushion covers or these cushion squares before we do anything else. So I've got them facing the wrong sides where all the tails are together so that we can join them with the right side facing out. I haven't yet taken my yarn off of my second panel. If you have, just reattach your yarn in one of the corners and then we're going to get the, another corner opposite. So we're going to insert our hook. I've got a chain one here. So I'm going to insert my hook into that first corner and then I'm going to pick up the other side and just pop the other corner over as well. I'm not working through any stitches. I'm working directly into that corner space just to slip stitch them together first of all. So I've got my chain one and I've gone through both my squares in the corner. And I'm just going to slip stitch to secure those together first of all. Now we are going to work down through all the stitches to join these panels together. And my favorite way to do that is to work through one loop on each side of these. So that leaves one stitch or one half of the stitch unworked and gives kind of a nice border. So with the first one, you can see I'm in my corner here. Um, I'm going to do another chain one just above our slip stitch. And then on the panel closest to you, I'm going to go through the back loop of that side of the panel. And on the other panel, making sure that I'm working on this side of it, I'm going to go through the front loop. So we've got the whole stitch here and I just want to pick up that front loop there. I'm going to yarn over to bring a loop through and just single crochet those together. We're going to work the whole way down this side, down to the other corner doing the same. So through the back loop on the panel closest to you and through the front loop of the next stitch on the other panel. Pull the yarn through and single crochet. This is quite a quick process, but just make sure you're working through the right stitch at each time. You can turn your work if you need to see where you've worked already so you know that you're going into that next stitch because we don't want any unworked we want to because we should have the same number of stitches on both panels and you can see if i just fold that down it gives you a nice ridge down both sides of the cushion and you get that lovely double crochet join as well so continue all the way down to the first corner and we'll do the first corner together and I haven't worked in that one yet, yes. Just remember to pick up that one loop. You can just work through the stitches if you wanted to, but I think this, I just love that little bit of the remainder of the stitch. So back loop and front loop, there we go. Yep, so work all the way down and I'll meet you in this corner. That's my last stitch up to the corner. Now, because we've got these two chain spaces here, what we're going to do is just work directly into the chain space, working two double crochets, chain one, oops, and then a further two double crochets. There we go. And that just keeps our corner nice and square. So we've got one side of our square joined, my favourite join, and it looks really nice when it's, whichever way you're looking at it, it looks really nice and neat with these extra half, half a stitch not worked effectively. There we go. I think I'm going to run out of yarn, which is a little bit frustrating. I didn't start with the full ball, that's why. So we're going to continue all the way down and repeat this process all the way around and leave that last section open because when we reach 
this corner, we need to insert our cushion cover. I have no intention of adding a zip on here. I've got a lovely machine washable um, cushion pad. This yarn that I've chosen, the um, paint box yarns, Chunky, is indeed machine washable. So there is no need to worry about chucking the whole thing into the machine. So all the way down this side, we're going to work again into the front loop and the back loop of the corresponding stitches all the way down to the corner. When we reach the corner, we work into that chain space, working uh, two double crochets, oh, sorry, two single crochets and a chain one into that corner space. And we're going to repeat that down the third side of the pillow. And then when you've reached that third corner, meet me back here and we'll work with our cushion in place. It's always good fun because if it's a nice plump pillow pump, uh, pillow pad you've got inserted, it can be a little bit tricky. But it is possible. I'm going to show you how to do it if you need some extra encouragement as well. So keep working around and I'll meet you at the third corner and we shall do that join together. So I've just reached my last corner. I've just gone around it and done a couple of extras. I'm just getting ready to put in my cushion pad. Now I'm recycling, so all my hands are good with those. So please don't judge me for the state of this. I am reusing an old cushion pad, but I'm just gonna pop it in to show you how we can then join the very, very last corner. I was going to put an edging and a border on this cushion, but I just think it's too beautiful that it doesn't need it. If you want to add a border, you can. There's lots of different examples over on my channel. You can go and check those out. Now, I'm very lucky. I've got a very slimline old cushion cover that's quite firm, so it's not actually poking out too much. I'm just going to double check that it's all in nice and evenly, and then we can do very last edge just the same way we did for all the other edge that we've done so far we're going to do the same by working into the front the back loop and the front loop all the way along might be tricky if you've got a very plump cushion pad and you may need to kind of shove it out of the way and then re-plump it as you move along. Oh, I've split that yarn. Oh, we didn't see, that's good. So literally just gonna work the same way we've done a whole way along into those two loops. So into that front loop, into that back loop, and join it the whole way along this last edge, all the way along to the corner. My yarn has fallen onto the floor. And you just have to kind of push your cushion down so you can get to your stitches. I'm trying to fold mine so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Because also you want to try and keep quite an even tension on this border so that your stitches are the same size the whole way around to your cushion. So push your pillow out of the way, shove it back in, get your two edges together so you can work through the stitches as neatly as possible. It's the only tricky bit, in my opinion, about <laughs> not putting a zip in, but it's an awful lot easier than attaching a zip, which is why I always pick machine washable cushion pads and machine washable yarn for that reason, because it's great just to be able to pop it in the washing machine. You can see how gorgeous that is. Okay, so it's showing through a little bit, but in natural light, it will be beautiful. So I'm gonna carry on and finish this edge. And I'll meet you right at the end of, in the last corner. Now remember, we haven't worked that last corner yet. So we need to place those two, double cro uh, two single crochets into that corner space as well. So keep working along, squishing that cushion as you go and I will meet you in the very last corner. Ready to weave in those last two ends and we'll get finished. So 
So I'm back to yeah, my last corner. Yes, I am. So I'm just going to work those two double crochets. And then I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that stitch there. And chain one to secure, ready to snip the final and pull through. Make sure that's nice and secure. So to bury this end nice and neatly, I'm simply just going to thread my needle and go straight back through the corner one way. So it tucks it all in nice and neatly. And then I'm going to go back under and in and out a few times, burying that end. So yes, I want to split the yarn, unfortunately. Making sure that we do not see that end again. That should just about do it. So then the only other place to weave in our other end is where we've rejoined. Down here, you may have already done this one. I'm going to quickly flip the cushion over and do exactly the same again. So excuse the, the clock. It's rather warm here today, so the window is open. And we're very near a church. <laughs> there we go. And again, back through the other way. Just securing that tail without messing up the look of our beautiful cushion. Don't think we'll see that again anytime soon. And there we have it. Our completed granny cushion. Now, head on over to Instagram or drop me an email or a message and let me see your finished cushion. I would like to see it completed because if it's anywhere near as beautiful as mine, if I do say so myself, I'll be so impressed. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you're loving your granny cushion as much as I'm loving mine. And I will be back with another crochet tutorial in the near future.